Hi there, Ludovine. How's business lately? Ah, the Demoiselle of Spina de Rosula. I must say, your generous patronage is the one thing keeping me from going bankrupt. <laughs> Nonsense. We all know what a talented businesswoman you are. No, oh, man, don't forget, she's the boss now. My mistake, my mistake. I just got so used to calling her Demoiselle. Are you here for the uniform? Yep. I forgot to drop by earlier when I was running errands around here. <laughs> I didn't expect Demoiselle to come and pick it up in person. It's just a uniform, after all. Any of your folks could have come instead. Navia's always liked to take even small things seriously. Hey, that's not the only reason I'm here. We mostly just needed a walk to clear our heads. There are few things more uplifting than taking the first step on a new journey. <laughs> uh, boss has got a point. Going on a trip with friends is always better than staying cooped up at home. Very well. Please, wait here while I retrieve the uniform for you. Uh, can someone remind Paimon again why Adele wants to join the Spina? <laughs> she hasn't given me any concrete reasons. All she says is that she really looks up to me. After we cleared her father's name, she became a lot more cheerful and outgoing. It's probably because she now knows for sure that her father was never a bad person. She said she used to be terrified of Papa, so as a result, she found all the rest of the Spina super scary as well. But the Spina is very different now. She mustered up the courage to talk to me, and felt like I could really understand her. Yeah, you could say that. By uncovering the truth about the case, I was able to give her closure at the same time. She said that she wanted to become someone like me, someone who could lend a hand to others, instead of standing still and waiting for others to help her. From the sound of it, she'll be a wonderful addition to the Spina. I think so, too. But for now, let's focus on giving her a great atmosphere to grow and thrive. She can commit to us once she's older, and can really make that decision for herself. Is something up, Traveler? Huh? Tailing? Oh, Paimon's coming! Mm. I'll go check it out, too. Coulter, please hold on to this for me. Uh, all right. <sighs> we knew you were going to be difficult! Seems like if we want them to talk, we're gonna need to teach them a lesson first. Brothers, there's no need to skulk in the dark anymore. Let's take them out! Now, talk. Who are you? And why were you tailing us? <sighs> Don't think we'll let you off easy if you keep silent. <sighs> How did it go, boss? Are any of you hurt? <laughs> if you thought they stood any chance against us, you were sorely mistaken. Anyway, stop playing tough and start talking. There won't be any room for negotiation once the Maison Guardianage gets involved. We... were looking to get vengeance on Spina de Rasula. We were discovered and can't beat you in a fight. We admit it. We lost. Get revenge? Wait, you're not Romeo's followers, are you? You actually know that name? But if you do, then surely you should understand why we hate you so much! Indeed. You haven't got the faintest hope of winning right now. <sighs> we were out drinking when we saw Navia. We got so angry, we decided to follow you guys and look for an opportunity to really mess up your day. Too bad you guys messed up ours first. Huh? You're pretty sharp, but so what? We didn't do anything. And now it should be pretty obvious that we can't do anything to you anyway. Seeing you like that just really ticked us off. And we let the drink go to our heads. Listen, Callus is long dead. No matter what happened in the past, I want to be able to start things anew. I am the current president of Spina di Rosula, 
If your boss wants to talk with me, I'd be happy to meet with him. I won't press charges for your attack. That should also help demonstrate my sincerity. I understand. Thank you. I'll let our boss know. But if you so much as think about pulling something like this again, I won't be so lenient next time. Understood? All right. We get it. Come on, let's go. Uh, are you sure it's okay to just let them go like that, Navia? I don't want to inherit my father's grudges, too. Uh, moreover, when it comes to the Aquabus, I don't think what my father did was entirely correct, either. If the other side is willing to talk, I'm happy to open the door for a reconciliation. Opportunities for new beginnings are all around us. I support Boss's decision as well. The concept of an eye for an eye is a primitive practice that has no place in today's Spina di Rosula. Yes. Plus, we already know that they're strapped for cash. If their financial situation is that dire, they don't have what it takes to challenge us. So this may be the best time to talk. I still think we should keep an eye out for Romeo's folks, though. If he decides to ignore the warning I gave his men, then we could still have a fight on our hands. Yeah, those guys definitely didn't look like big fans of yours. I'd rather things not go that far, since, though we haven't talked to each other for years, once upon a time we were all a part of the Spina di Rosula family. Yep, that's how I feel as well. Anyway, now that we've sent them packing, we don't have to worry about those guys anymore. It's getting late already. So why don't we stay the night in the Fleuve Sandra? We can head back to Poisson tomorrow. I'll also ask someone to write Florent a letter and inform him of everything that happened here today, so he can increase security around Poisson and be on guard against any suspicious individuals. Do we have to stay in the Fleuve Sandra again? Even the pillows there smell like seaweed. <laughs> Sorry, that's just what happens when you live near water and don't get much sunlight. Poisson's pretty much the same, though, so I've long since gotten used to it. We can still go out in the evening for some grilled fish and drinks, though. Bet you there'll be people singing sea shanties, too. How does that sound? Huh. That does sound pretty cool. Okay, Paimon's on board now! Let's go! Paimon wants to sing, too! Coming back here really does feel like this place is starting to grow on Paimon. If you think about it, it would be kind of weird if the Spina's base at the court was some super luxurious building like the Palais Marmonia. <laughs> totally. Right on the money, Paimon. Although, of course, with the continued growth of the Spina, Papa wanted Poisson to eventually grow into a metropolis, not unlike the court. He was a very ambitious man, who rarely looked behind or beneath him. For better or worse, that always made him stand out from the crowd. And that's also why people hated him just as much as they loved him. All right. Why don't you go wait for me at the restaurant? I'll go do some prep and I'll get someone to tidy up your room while I'm at it. You can use the same room as last time. You still remember the room number, yeah? Yep, yep. Kinda hard to forget when there are only so many rooms here, after all. <laughs> oh, did I just hear someone taking a dig at Fleuve Sandra? I'll tell my guys to stuff your pillows full of actual seaweed right now. Oh, Paimon, sorry! Please have mercy, Navia! If you do that, then Paimon really won't be able to sleep at all! <laughs> I was just kidding. Be on your way now. Hello? Are you asleep yet? Oh, no, not at all. I just figured that since we don't get to enjoy nights like these very often, we should try to enjoy it to the fullest. Wanna go fishing? I've got some rods and lures ready. Ah, oh, so that's the prep you were talking about. Sure, oh, we'll come. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't wake you or anything. Don't worry, you don't have to do any actual fishing if you're too tired. Just think of it as keeping me company. How does that sound? Okay, let's go. To the fishing spot. How can you 
call this fishing when you're using a fully automatic rod? Mm hmm. <laughs> What's the problem? Lots of people in Poisson use rods like these. But. But shouldn't fishing be all about. you know, attentively watching the float and then excitedly reeling in the catch when you finally hook something? Well, that's one way to enjoy fishing. What do you think, Traveler? Then, let's try regular rods next time. We can have a real fishing competition. Honestly, Paimon's mainly shocked at how much energy you still have at this hour. Usually by this time of night, it's a struggle for Paimon to even keep her eyes open. Huh. It might just be something that runs in my family. That's a thing? <laughs> I'm sure you'd get even sleepier if I delved more deeply into it. Anyway, I was just thinking about how grateful I am to my mother. As well as the rest of the Spina. My father always had a lot of unrealistic expectations for me. But the more that he tried to get me to become like him, the less I wanted to listen to what he had to say. My mother never had those kinds of expectations, though. I've heard that she had only one wish for me, which was that I would have a happy and secure childhood. All the members of the Spina greatly respected her wish, so no matter what I did as a child, they were happy to humor me. <laughs> Can you imagine? Whenever my father wanted to scold me for something I'd done, everyone would form up into two rows and just stand silently and listen to him rant. Malus and Silver were always there, too. No matter what Papa yelled, nobody else would say a word. Eventually, Papa must have recognized scolding me over trivial matters was pointless, because he eventually stopped getting on my case so often. Paimon would have never guessed. <laughs> yeah, looking back on it now as an adult, I can hardly believe how patient and kind everyone was. When I was young... I often thought that I could do whatever I wanted, because there'd always be someone there to clean up after me. But once, I saw Malus come back wounded. He wouldn't tell me how he'd been injured, but I could tell it had something to do with me. I learned then that there's always a cost to making a mistake. The more you care about those around you, the more you should care about doing the right thing to the best of your abilities. Because if you do falter, there'll inevitably come a time when you'll have to face the consequences. And when that time comes, those most precious to you really will throw themselves in front of you and pay the price for your mistakes. Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't have brought that up. I wasn't planning to talk about sad things tonight. Basically, I was just saying that the nurturing atmosphere of the Spina must have been my mother's legacy, rather than my father's. And if that's the only way that I can continue to feel her love, then I'd like to pass that warmth on. Is that why you let those guys go today? Mm-hmm. Although, maybe there's a part of not wanting to repeat the mistakes of the past. I want to be reasonable, at least. Hey, look! I think you've got something on the line! Uh, but why isn't the rod automatically reeling it in? Oh, there must be something wrong with how I installed the mechanism. It was my first time putting one of those rods together. We can't let it get away. Come on, you two. Let's catch it. Y you want Paimon to help, too? You... you didn't attach a hook to your line? Stop wasting time! The boss ain't gonna wait all day! We'll go ahead with the operation tomorrow. Do with that information as you wish. <laughs> well, your rod was missing a part, too, so... I guess that makes it fair. Well, if we're just talking about the number of missing parts, sure. <sighs> oh, never mind. Paimon really can't keep her eyes open anymore. <laughs> All right, go to bed. I had a great time today. Mm-hmm. See you tomorrow. 
Ah, so how was last night? Did you get a good night's sleep? Paimon dreamt that she danced with the sea stars, so you could say it was stellar. Get it? Huh. <laughs> I didn't know you had such a great sense of humor. See? This guy gets it! <laughs> anyway, let's head out. I'll arrange for a boat to take us back to Poisson. I'm sure Adele will be happy to see you two again. Paimon hopes she'll really appreciate your gift. I hope so, too. Adele, we're back. We brought you a gift from the court, too. Whoa, thank you so much, boss. Don't call her boss, okay, Adele? Just Miss Navia would be fine. Oh, <laughs> it's all right. I don't mind. Besides the gift, I've also got another surprise. Guess who's here? It's been a while. Oh, it's you two. It has been a while indeed. Thank you so much for your help on Jacques' case. I've heard that you also helped save all of Fontaine. You're truly just like the great heroes of legend. You're really amazing. And if Miss Navi is your friend, then she must be super amazing too. What's in this thing? Can I look? Of course. Go ahead. Oh, it's a Spina di Rosula uniform. Is it for me? But isn't it a bit big? Well, it's a gift for future you. When you first told me that you were interested in joining the Spina, I was overjoyed. But it's the Spina's responsibility to protect everyone as well. Being a member means becoming involved in all kinds of dangerous situations. And since you're still young, I don't want your mom to have to worry about your safety. So I turned you down then by telling you that you'll have to wait until you're older. But this uniform is a promise that you can join us once you're old enough to wear it. Oh, so that's it. Well, thank you so much, Miss Navia. I'll work hard and grow up as fast as I can. <laughs> uh, but you can't really grow up faster by working hard. You've got to be patient. Everyone, I'm really grateful that you remembered my daughter's wish and took it seriously. Thanks to the protection of the Spina, even though her father's no longer with us, we've still felt plenty of warmth and security. Oh, it's the least we could do. As long as you live in Poisson, even if you're not an official member, you're still part of the family. Boss! Huh? Is something up, Florent? I've got something urgent to report. Romeu and his folks have gathered outside Poisson and even shipped in a huge pile of explosives. What? Explosives? What do they want? It seems like they've been planning this for some time. We started investigating as soon as we received your letter yesterday. But Romeu and his folks must have gotten wind as well, because they abandoned their former posts before we could even check on them. We investigated their tracks and found out that they're after Poisson. Did they have smartened up since we caught them red-handed at the court? Seems like they've got no interest in sitting down and talking at all. We should have gone straight to the Maison Guardianage. Sorry. I underestimated the situation. Well, too late now, I suppose. Florent, where are they keeping their explosives? On the hill to the east of Poisson, near the Clementine Line. They want to blow up the Clementine Line? Certainly sounds like it. Romeu and his followers hate the Spina and everything to do with Callus, And the Aquabus was the source of their contention. If they manage to blow up the Aquabus line, all that rubble will come crashing down the hill and straight into Poisson. Are they insane? There's tons of innocent people in Poisson. Yeah, 
If they've been planning this for ages, they're definitely not going to let this opportunity slip by. We have to issue an evacuation order to the townspeople, and get them as far away from the entrance as possible. That should save them from the worst of it. Let's get everyone onto our ship. That should be the safest place. <sighs> My dear partner, can I leave the Clementine line to you? If the explosives do go off, not only would the people of Poisson be in danger, any aquabuses using the line would plummet to the ground. Let's stop their insanity first, then settle the score with them. Leave it to us, Navia. Please stay safe, too. Let's go, you two. We've got to act fast. Miss Coralie, please take Adele to the ship. Watch out, boss! <sighs> what do you think you're doing, Coulter? I thought all the annoying little hindrances had left, but I still couldn't get rid of you. Uh, you mean this was all a trick? So that you'd be left alone with me? Coulter, are you with Romeo too? Oh. <laughs> I get it now. You knew about their plans all along. You only told us they were doing badly so that we'd drop our guard. Not quite. Though I share their positions on some issues, I've never cared for his more radical ideas. And that's because, out of the entire Spina di Rosula, I only hate you. Only you, Navia. You better stick close to me. Romeu promised me that he would leave Poisson alone if I could just take you out. But it was like you were glued at the hip to that pesky traveler. You never gave me a chance to make my move. Romeo has lost his patience. I didn't have to be here today, you know. But I swore that I'd kill you, even if it meant being buried with you in the rubble. Why? Only someone as clueless about the past as you would ask such a foolish question. You never saw the heyday of Spina di Rosula, nor did you ever live through the golden age of Poisson. But I, I saw it all with my own eyes, and then I had to watch it all die, little by little. And it was all because of you, Navia. Clementine died because of you. Callus died because of you. Melus and Silver died because of you. And so many more died. Dead. Everyone dead. All because of you. So the shock and grief you showed us before, that was an act too? Now you're catching on. I heard Malus was dead the moment I got out. Did you know, down there in that blasted fortress, I spent a long time thinking about what happened and resolving to apologize to Malus as soon as I got out. Back then, because of that aquabus, we had a huge fallout. I was convinced that all he cared about was loyalty, and that he had completely lost his capacity for critical thinking. The years passed by in a blur after that. I thought I had finally begun to understand him, and that he could help me relive the good old days again. But then he died, and it was because of you again, Navia. It's always because of you. <laughs> I once loved the Spina and Poisson more than anyone else. But what is left now of either besides death and ruin? You've single-handedly destroyed everything that was beautiful. Everything I've ever loved. Don't listen to him, boss. He's just spouting nonsense. Have you ever considered that maybe the people around you don't actually care about you at all? Have you ever considered that maybe you only get respect because you're Callus and Clementine's child? That you've never done anything worthy? That you're just a big nothing? Have you ever considered that maybe people don't stay in Poisson because of you, but only because they have such beautiful memories of the past before you came? Because if you do falter, There'll inevitably come a time when you'll have to face the consequences. And when that time comes, those most precious to you really will throw themselves in front of you and pay the price for your mistakes. <laughs> yeah, looking back on it now as an adult, 
I can hardly believe how patient and kind everyone was. But is that really why they support me? Is their kindness real? Shut your mouth! I, for one, really like Miss Navia, and my mom loves her too! Uh. I don't know how to explain it, but I like her, and that's that! I'm sure Mr. Malus would be extremely disappointed in you right now. You've somehow managed to pin the blame for every mistake and tragedy in our history on the boss herself. Get out of the way, Floron. I don't want to hurt you. You're gonna have to. Boss, there's no time for this. Stop hesitating and get out of here before you get buried. Maybe you think you're being the realist by painting the history of the Spina and Poisson like this. But the love that I felt from everyone was just as real. I felt it. They've helped me get to where I am. And even now, I will continue to believe in that love. So let me show you just how much I love the Spina di Rosula. <sighs> Florent, I'll leave the town to you. Summon the other members and help with the evacuation of the townspeople. If you find any of Coulter's accomplices, subdue them quickly, and don't give them the chance to harm any ordinary civilians. I can't allow my partner to face the danger on the Clementine line alone. Got it, boss. I'm on it. Are you okay, Navia? I don't know, but I have to go. Let's hurry up there. We have to protect the Clementine line. If they're gonna blow up the waterway, they must have planted the explosives next to the support pillars. These must be the explosives, right? And this is the control mechanism. Uh, how can we disable it? Oh, I was too scared to touch any of this stuff. Huh? There's a strangely shaped hole here. What is it for? Oh, that certainly sounds possible. Uh, maybe one of the people we just beat up has the key. Okay, you take this side, Paimon will take the other. Let's see what we can find. That should do it, right? Huh. <sighs> Navi and Florent should be able to relax now. Oh, you're right. They could have set explosives elsewhere, too. Let's go. I heard from Thierry that even they're your enemies now. They were once a part of Spina di Rusula. Do you plan to settle this privately with them? I have nothing more to say to them. Regardless of whether their hatred and anger towards me or the Spina was justified, anyone who's willing to endanger innocent civilians is no longer sane enough to even be worth trying to talk to. Please prosecute them in accordance to the law. Spina di Rosula will not raise any objections. Sounds good. We're very appreciative of your help. Without it, the consequences would have been far worse. All right. This operation is a wrap. Take him away. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, we were just in time. <sighs> it's probably because I expended too much elemental energy at once. I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. Uh, but you usually glow up whenever other people compliment you. Paimon's not used to seeing you like this. Boss, we managed to catch all the infiltrators in the town. The Maison Guardianage is taking them away as well. Seems like Romeu really went all in on this mission. If he sent literally everyone he had, though, that also means we've caught them all, too. We won't have to worry about them from now on. Ah, got it. That's good, at least. <sighs> Coulter, I can understand how you feel. The things that we lost, they're forever beyond our grasp now and that makes them appear even more precious. I am not callous, and I will also never become him. The Spina and the Poisson that you loved are both gone. But I, I will not change how I feel about our future. I still believe that this is a great opportunity to start anew. I will spend more of what the Spina earns on the betterment of Poisson. 
What's more, I'd also like to propose some changes to the aquabus routes. So that one day, the people of Poisson will enjoy the boons it brings as well. I know what you're trying to say. Mr. Callus would never have said anything like that. There are too many things in life that are just beyond our control. In that, we are the same. Henceforth, you are no longer a member of Spina di Rosula. But once you're discharged from the fortress again, you're welcome to pay another visit to Poisson. Thank you, Navia. As I thought, Boss really is a kind and gentle person. She is also, I must say, a truly unlucky person. <laughs> Thank you for protecting the Clementine line. I was actually really scared, you know. I mean, even the Callus line won't be getting rebuilt anytime soon. If I'd lost the Clementine line too, I wouldn't know how to live with myself. A name is a way to etch a memory onto the world. Losing the line that bears her name that I can see every day would be like losing my mother all over again. Seeing it still standing there, tall and proud, it makes me really happy. What happened while we were gone? Honestly, you look more upset than tired or anything. Just give her some time. Mm. Thank you so much. Can you give me a hand? I really don't have much strength left. Traveler, I want to ask you something. And please, tell me the truth. Do you really see me as your partner? Of course. Uh, that's good then. Hearing that, it brings me more relief than I can say. How do you feel, Navia? Any better after taking a break? Mm, I feel quite a bit better. But I should probably still rest for a few more days. Sorry, partner. I said some weird things earlier. Uh, feel free to just ignore me. I used to think that I'd never doubt myself. But... You could say I've discovered that... I'm not as strong as I thought I was. Coulter mentioned my parents, as well as Malus and Silver. It's all thanks to them that I've made it this far in life. Do you think they ever regretted the choices they made? Has my existence made this world a better place? Don't think like that, Navia. You've already done more than enough. No matter what others think, we'll always support you to the end of the world. Well, since it's ended up like this, I suppose it's time for me to make a confession as well. There's something that I've been keeping from you as well, boss. Please, follow me. Everything is already prepared. Uh, Florent... <laughs> I hope you can understand that I can't deal with any more shocking revelations right now. <laughs> Don't worry. This surprise will be a pleasant one. Why is everyone gathered here? And what's... this? This was supposed to be a gift to you from everyone in the town. We were originally planning to show it to you once it was finished. But special times call for special measures. I've never seen you look so defeated before. So I've decided to show you the designs before the final product was done. I... Uh, do I really look that bad? Well, if you're ready, I'll unveil the present. Hmm. Oh, th this is... Papa. Mother. And me. We designed the look for Miss Clementine based on old camera records, as well as personal recollections from members of the Spina. Wow! This is the statue you mentioned before? It is indeed. To be honest, we decided on the design a long time ago, and gave the sculptor permission to begin working. 
We only asked Boss to decide on a design so she wouldn't realize we had already started. How could we only have statues of Mr. Callus and Mrs. Clementine? Even though Boss is still young, we've all seen the work she's put in regarding the whole synth business and the rebuilding of Poisson. We wanted to commemorate her contributions with the statue as well. I don't know what Spina di Rosula was like in the past, but I know it's a great organization now. With Navia around, we're not worried about this place's future. We're gathered here today to tell our boss that we support you and believe in you wholeheartedly. I believe everyone is here for you, not the glory days. That's what we believe as well. Thank you so much, everyone. Then I'll be brave and just accept everyone's support for what it is. This really is quite the surprise. I never thought that I'd have the chance to stand next to my mother. Not even in my wildest dreams. <laughs>